Santino from Crusader Caravans in Campbell Food, Victoria. Today we have a very special van. It's a fully customized Musketeer Porthos with cross country pack. A heap of little goodies thrown in here and there. We're gonna run you through the inside where we're gonna see a beautiful black pack which features black tapware, handles, sinkware, basin, everything. We also have a cafe dinette with a pull-out seating uh, trifold table from the wall, north-south bed, side kitchen with a 186 litre smart fridge, and even washing machine in the ensuite as well, and separate shower toilet. Before we jump inside, I'll show you the outside. So featuring up here, we've got a massive stone guard from Coast to Coast products that features on the front, a front winding jockey wheel, so that way you're not gonna scratch your knuckles against the front here of the Coast to Coast stone guard. We have, as far as off-road vans is concerned, one of the strongest chassis the caravan industry has to offer. It's a three millimeter steel chassis with a 450 MPA graded steel. So that means the molecular structure of the chassis is far superior than most. We run a 450 in comparison to a 250 or 350. That means the strength of the steel is magnified. It's absolutely, um, uh, it's, it's it triple the strength of what we currently would run. But then we've got, it's a um, the flexibility of it is actually uh, kept quite minimal um, and it means that the van's articulate movements are not going to affect the caravan and the chassis um, structure at all and that force is going to be distributed from the caravan uh, axles and the independent suspension rather than the van body suffering that hit. Um, we have on the front here an articulate moving Alco pin coupling. So this is that 360 moving up and down motion, handbrake of course. We have with the Intel chassis boot, we have a Beautiful little chain hanger here that keeps things out of the way. Again, the steel itself is Australian made. It is the only caravan chassis in Melbourne manufactured in a jig. So everything is millimeter perfect. Again, three millimeter steel. So that is the highest grade of strength steel millimeter fraction wise that we can put into the caravan chassis to be able to make sure the weight is something that is going to be a fair and substantial weight for a caravan subframing. But the actual uh, van, uh, structure, the subframing of the chassis is not impacted by that either. So what we've got is a trailer safe breakaway. So this here will pull out an event of emergency and activate the caravan brakes if the caravan and the car become detached. We have that there. Our front winding jockey wheel, Alco hardware. This caravan is a full off-road custom unit. It is approximately 21.55 kilos on the compliance plate. So that is weighed after the caravan is manufactured and the ATM on it is 2,700 kilos. So the load rating on this is between 2,155 and 21, uh, 2,700 kilos. So a substantial over 500 kilo payload on that. The suspension we're running is a 2.7 ton, dual shock, 12 inch brake, tough ride suspension. So it's an Australian made suspension with Alco running gear as far as the brakes and the um, brake magnets, but it's a four ton um, bearing on that. It's a substantially well built unit. It's gonna be able to deal with all those articulate moving uh, movements that you're gonna be going through some of that off-road terrain. And this thing's gonna be able to get you to more tracks and, and, and further places that um, Australia has to offer. So this is that unit that's gonna get you there. On the front here, we have a huge LED spotlight. There's another one of these featuring on the back as well. This is that for real remote night camping, whether you're pulling up or setting up or going to the next camp or hooking up in the dark, that's gonna keep it well lit for you. On the front here, just behind that stone guard keeping it protected, we have a bash plate here for the water tap on the A-frame. In the toolbox, we have a Weber Q storage box. So Weber Q sits on here, sits under the feet, that locks down and then goes back. And you'll actually notice there's a little bit of storage room still at the back here in case you want to be able to keep some tools and some knickknacks right at the back there. That's a perfectly sealed Raptor uh, checker plate powder coated toolbox as well with uh, grease points on that. Cross country, so this symbolizes that all the cross country attributes and all cross country features on that pack have been installed onto that Musketeer Porthos. We've got in our little storage compartment here, right at the back, very hard to see, but that's an inverter provision. So all the caravan's power points are wired up, three select power points nominated as black power points, ready for an inverter to be whacked in there. So we have a 2000 watt inverter that we would typically install at a customer's discretion, of course. In the back corner there, that'll fire up those um, double power points when you're free camping. Kettles, air conditioners, that's right, air con. So we've even ran it so that the air, condition, uh, air conditioning unit can be used in a free camp scenario. I will show you more about that shortly. We have our jack compliance plate system here. So we're running at 2191. We have a uh, ATM of 2700 kilo, GTM of 2438, and a ball weight of 212. So ball weight's brilliant, ready to be loaded up um, on this unit. We have a Dometic, um, Splash granite awning with black awning arms. This is about a 16 foot awning. Just behind the door here, we have 
a beautiful little storage box that we've optioned up here. So we've got a little storage locker just there. So that's a beautiful little spot to be able to put your tools or whatever else you want to keep here. That's right up the top there. So that's going to stay away from all the chassis rails as far as impact points. We have a double manual pull-out step rated at 200 kilos, and that's going to keep um, getting into the van nice and easy even after a few drinks. So it's a three lock uh, striking point crim safe security door. Gonna keep you incredibly safe. It's going to have its little roller door inbuilt here. So we've got a little block out blind. Um, crim safe, it's gonna keep all those bugs out. It's got a vent at the front here, which is pressurized from the inside. And this here just locks back and then uh, locks down with just a key just like so. Nice and easy to use. As far as entertainment's concerned, on the outside of this caravan, we've still got two dustproof, waterproof NCE speakers rigged up to Bluetooth uh, radio head unit inside. On this little guy just here, we have a outside TV hutch, double power point, we have an aerial, and we also have a 12 volt socket for your TV. You bring that out, pop it there, and what you've got here as far as those power points is you can place your little cooking unit on this picnic table. Picnic table is rated to about 30 kilo. This guy sits on here, you can cook, um, off of there. You've also got just underneath there with the toolboxes, we've got a gas bayonet. Um, we supply the Weber Q hose that, that comes off of there. And you can actually cook off the Weber, have prep room over here, and we've got our little uh, TV hutch there on the outside. Just here we've got our bargain handle. So we've got one bright light, that's a blue light that you can see there, so that's a night light. Then we pop it on, bright LED, and then we've got our little, um, our little guide light just inside that comes blue when the uh, bargain handle's engaged. Now I'll run you through the suspension. So this is what really makes this van special. So when you upgrade the off-road pack with the Crusaders, you get a few things. You get that 600 high um, checker plate, makes it look a little bit tougher. It's that powder coat checker plate, so it's gonna keep it nice and strong. We have our uh, checker plate wheel guards just here, nice and tough. We have a 16 inch 265 wheel and tire um, with a 12 inch brake on an American primal tire. Um, it's a six stud wheel. We have 12 inch brakes, dual shock absorbers and coil spring suspension. Um, this here is gonna be able to deal with all those articulate moves. It's gonna be able to deal with that corrugation, dirt road, semi off road terrain. Um, this thing here, as far as classification is concerned, you cannot get more off road than this. Um, we do offer, uh, offer an airbag system in case that's something you wanna be able to go to. And we can, um, the manufacturer can also look at other options as far as wheels such as Cooper or Mickey Thompson, if that's something you wanna look at. But this stock unit here, we've gone for a real brilliant American tire, the Taranzo tire from the Primal Wheels and Tires, all terrains. Um, brilliant little unit here. We run these at about 50 PSI. We'll make our way through. We have our Alco drop-down stabilizer legs on all four corners of the caravan. Nava rear lights. A little bit of flare, but also it's the best quality light that Australia has to offer. So we've gone for the Nava. Again, on the back here, just underneath that reversing camera. Um, this reversing camera is a night vision reversing camera. That stays on while you drive. It's actually a, a more or less a um, rear view camera. So as you're driving, you're gonna see everything approaching from the rear, such as uh, freight trains or trucks or cars or speeding, whatever it may be, you're gonna be fully aware of what's happening as you're traveling. And you've also got that spotlight. So you're pulling up to camp, the light is lit up. It's gonna light up this whole area here and you're gonna be able to see what's approaching and what's coming back. Also features sound. So your partner standing here can describe what we're looking at here. If you can't see that terrain that's right here, because it's looking over here, you can then keep an eye on um, your partner because she'll be talking to you as well. We have that 16 inch all-terrain spare wheel at the back here. Making our way through, we have on the offside here. So you'll notice as we make our way, there are lights on every single uh, corner of the caravan. We have one on the back for security. We have one on the offside for security. We have one on the front for security. We have one on the uh, drive, uh, on the door side for security. These lights lit up everywhere on this unit. We've got our toilet just here. So serviceability wise, that's just out there. We've got our little carry, ca uh, carry case. That's a 19 litre ceramic toilet from Dometic. We have on this unit two 95 litre water tanks. So that's uh, 190 litres worth of water, separately fillable and separately usable as well. So you can, with the pump, utilise different water tanks and do the switch over um, valves if you uh, want to be able to use the back tank for a particular use or the front tank for a particular use, you can switch that pump over to control the, uh, the, the, the actual suck points of those uh, water tanks when you're free camping. We have grey water for all that free camp. So grey water tanks just under here. Now while we're down here, we've got that under pipe protection through all the PVC piping and we use John Guest fittings throughout, including the hot. We have a grey water tank just located here. That's a 95 litre grey water tank. Now just before I tell you the features about it, we've got on all PVC piping, we have that um, 
plastic coating all the way through to be able to protect it, so under pipe protection. We also have um, all John guest fittings that are recessed quite high onto the caravan itself to make sure that um, all those uh, high branches and things that you might come across on the road are out of the way. So no issues, no headaches, no broken water tanks. They're all checker plate water tank protected underneath there as well. We have the gray water outlet. So this here, just um, when you're free camping, obviously we open it and close it depending on the situation we're gonna be going on, especially those national parks. Those gray water tanks are fitted with smell traps and it's also fitting with a, uh, a cleaning system. So you plug your hose up to that cleaning system, it pushes water into the gray water tank, puts some Domestos down the sink. That's gonna push all that cleaning water around and it's actually gonna flush it out. So Crusader Caravans, the director of Crusader is actually a plumber by trade. These are the things that he's implemented on the model to make it a better unit. And those smell traps, you're not gonna get any of those bad smells coming up through the gray water tank that everyone complains about. Um, and it's just a very, very tidy, well-protected unit with checker plate lining. Just while we're down here, before we have a look up, we've got just under here, we've got our pull-out uh, retraction point. So if you get stuck, um, Crusaders put on their off-road units the ability to be able to actually hook up to this and just pull that unit out of its uh, stuck situation um, with a four-wheel drive. This is a really four-wheel drive uh, caravan inspired unit. So we've got our uh, 28 liter Swift appliance stainless steel fast recovery hot water service. So that's a um, gas and 240. This unit here, um, very, very fast recovery, no maintenance, no anode to be changed, uh, Australian made, which is a very large thing, especially with an appliance that you're gonna wanna be able to run time and time again. This unit here was gonna work and work and work for you. We've got a well ventilated fridge area. We've got our vents up there. We have that little point just up there is a satellite provision. So we've got those points ready to go with HDMI through um, the TV area as well. So that way, um, if you're very, very remote, you wanna get the portable satellite dish out, be able to um, start locating some of that very remote TV reception, that's gonna do the trick for you. Radio antenna, of course. We've got two lithium 150 amp batteries. Now these are a Solar King um, lithium system. This allows for almost four equivalent AGM units at 120 amp. These units here allow for that um, high workload. It's gonna allow for that inverter operation, such as running air conditioners or a compressor fridge that's located in this. At, um, these units here are absolutely awesome. It's got that bash plate, it's lockable as well. Very, very hard to tamper with that unit. It's a sealed unit outside, frees up the storage for the tunnel boot, but it deals with the elements very, very well. Um, these units are not gonna disappoint. They're going to do the extra mile as far as lithium, and you're gonna be ahead of the curve with the battery management system inside that we're gonna show you when we jump in. Now, one thing that's very important with any caravan is the subframe, I cannot stress that enough. The off-road units is something that a lot of people, they put bigger wheels, they make it a bit higher. What they don't concentrate on is the subframe of the caravan chassis. So the caravan A-frame from the Intel A-frame, it starts right at the tip of that coupling that we had a look at. It continues all the way back, right to this point just here. And then what we've got is we've got 12 inches worth of caravan chassis. That's a huge framework, all the way back to the wheels. As far as strength's concerned, it runs the whole extent and everything's protected with all um, conduit. Everything's out of the way, very well constructed unit, and it's not gonna cost you 100 grand. These units here are very well priced. It gives you that ability to be able to go off road, and especially for a single axle unit, it's really gonna give you everything you need. Out here, we've got a duct. This duct here is in, uh, runs inside, and what it is, it's a gas heating. So it's an Evario Truma gas heater. So you spec this one up, you can go to Tasmania, negative three, this thing's gonna fire up, it's gonna keep the whole unit very, very cool. It's thermostat controlled, runs as low as 20 and high as 30. It uses on one gas bottle, 72 hours on one gas bottle, um, a nine kilo bottle that is, running at a constant temperature of 30 degrees. We have a spare aerial point, not that you'll need it, because of course we've got our satellite provision. We have our power inlet at 15 amp and our circuit breakers on the outside here. And again, with that little cross country featured sticker. Full through tunnel boot all the way. This is almost a meter wide just here. Um, huge amount of storage. Um, not gonna disappoint as far as being able to segregate that storage area. It's not that you have to fill it, fill it, but it gives you the ability to be able to separate those areas to be able to have a very organized unit. We'll just lock this guy up. On this side here of the toolbox, we've got a jerry can, of course, and we've got a generator slide just here. Generator sits there, we rip him on, fire start him up, plug him straight into the 15 amp, and you're gonna be able to free camp, run that aircon very remotely without it relying on the battery power, especially if you're out there for quite a little bit of time. The unit itself is very, very well prepped for that off-road use. 
But one thing that we see is a very well built off-road vans from manufacturers. And then when you get inside, it's quite boring, basic, back to the uh, back to the stone age with all the interiors. What we've done with this is we wanted to keep it modern. I wanted to be able to give you the strength factor of it when I ordered it. And I wanted to be able to walk in and say, ooh, ah, and make it something a little bit different to the caravanning community that people are used to with either having a boring caravan and very off-road or, off, uh, or, or, or a very flary looking caravan and really not much substance off off-road. This is gonna give you all of that. So let's jump in. We've got a little handle just here. Checker plate cut out wheel, uh, wheel guard just here. Now, straight away when we walk in here, first thing we're gonna notice is colors. We've gone for an ultra modern look. Comes in chrome also, but we've run with a hayful black uh, sink and basin area. We've got a timber matte bench top, which seems to be the trend at the moment. Straight edge all the way across. Runs very streamlined with the cupboards that Crusader have done, so we've tried to complement that. We've got black handles, we have a black tap there, we also have a black shower head in the ensuite as well. Really highlighting just a little bit different within a field of off-road units. Just because it's off-road, just because you need to get to the bush, doesn't necessarily mean you need an ugly looking caravan. We wanted to be able to give a bit of flair, and we hope that we've achieved that with our dealership pick. Um, we have a grey leather red upholstery just here, and a pull-out Velcro stuck down unit. We pull this out. This is that very large pull-out cafe dinette seating. Very relaxing. Um, you've got a heap of storage. It's very well placed as far as you can get two large plates on this area. It's still a little bit of storage here. Underneath this cupboard area just here, we have a uh, double power point and USB um, with our reading lights. A little cupboard access there. Pull out the top, can charge right on here. We have our 12 volt USB reading lights. So there's actually USBs located on the bottom of these little reading lights here. We've got a massive uh, double glazed European window just here. Um, and this guy here is absolutely wicked. It's got a quad lock system, it pushes out. When it clicks, we let him go. This unit comes up here, full block out. And then we've got our midgy proof screens for all that off-road um, up north camping. And these here are European double glaze windows. So that is absolutely awesome for keeping out the heat. And it's gonna make sure as far as usability is concerned, you're gonna get the most out of your van. Um, we have a huge amount of cupboard storage through the whole van. So we've got um, our little electrical overhead cupboard up here. We'll show you this. We've got our PM300 lithium compatible battery management system from Projector. This is a charging system as well as a fuse line system, as well as a water tank monitor, solar controller, DC to DC, um, low voltage disconnect. It's got a heap of features. We don't touch this. This just runs, the solar comes in. The solar, it has a, it's th uh, two 170 watt monocrystalline uh, panels. That allows you to be able to get a little bit of solar power, even if you're parked under a tree, but then you can always plug a portable panel into an Anderson plug as well. We have a wireless lighting transmitter. So all the wiring in the uh, Crusader is uh, wireless. Press of a remote, you can be sitting in bed, you can turn those spotties on, you can turn the annex lights on, you can turn the offside light on, you can turn the ensuite on. It allows for that remote control system and that little transmitter there is just that firing unit. We have on these cupboards, before we close them, is a reinforced 40 Newton meters gas strut just here with full piano hinging all the way through. So one of the biggest things you'll hear from people is, um, when I go off road, my cupboards bounce about, everything comes out, I end up with dents in my bench top, just not possible with the Crusader. So you've got this really brilliant gripper catch lock, comes down here, locks down, that's just not gonna move. It's incredibly strong, incredibly resilient, piano hinge all the way left to right. Nothing's gonna shake about, nothing's gonna move, nothing's gonna flex. It allows for a heap of bending, a heap of movement. That piano hinge just gives you a heap of uh, ability to be able to go off road, and that sort of articulate movement's gonna allow for that as well. Um, in this cupboard just here, we've got our external speaker switches, so a quick switch with the Bluetooth head unit, satellite provision, USB, double power point ready for that vast box. Uh, we have our air conditioner lead, our microwave lead. Microwave wise, completely off-road proof. So this here pulls across, lifts up, um, everything opens out. That's got convection settings as well. That's a Swift 28 litre deluxe appliance, brilliant unit. We have a hot water service switch, a stove switch, we have a normal double power point, and then an inverter double power point. That's gonna work off-road with our inverter switch when we install the inverter, but at the moment it's just provision. Currently, we've got a lift up recess cooktop, so a heap of bench space across here, especially for a 17 foot six van. We have three burners, we have a 240 burner, grill and fan forced oven. So that's a standard in the Crusader range, is a fan forced oven with light, of course. Um, that's a Dometic Moby Cool appliance, uh, European of course, very, very well built, very well um, suited for off-road terrain. We have a 186 litre compressor fridge. So these fridges here, it's a wire shelf fridge um, with crisper draw, uh, LED light right at the back, 
And of course, we've got our freezer up the top here. Um, these are absolutely brilliant, especially in cooler, uh, warmer conditions. These just get, these will actually achieve cold temperatures in 40 degrees. It will actually start to get cold, whereas a lot of the three-way units take a bit of prep time. But again, these units are absolutely wicked. For an off-road van, definitely worth a, a consideration with a lithium pack. And we've got range hood and LED lights just under here as well. Um, in the ensuite, we have double towel rails. We have inverter point right above the sink just here uh, for a hairdryer. Um, the other one in the kitchen also is a coffee machine point if you're so inclined. Double power point here. We have a lift up washing machine. So it's a washing machine, th uh, 3.5 kilo NCE washing machine. Um, we have a black tap just to highlight some of the extras in it. We have again, even in the ensuite cupboards, we have that reinforced strut piano hinging. LED touch light with full mirror all the way across. We have an extraction fan in the toilet area and in the shower. The shower is one of my favorites. We've got that black tapware in that shower as well with the extraction fan all the way, um, which is gonna keep it nice and cool at night. And especially when you're in the shower, it's gonna keep everything not so um, humid. We have three drawers. So even in a tiny ensuite like this, we've still got those three drawers, which is fantastic because as far as uh, storage, you're gonna be able to actually keep everyone's space, his and hers, all kept away with a heap of storage here. We're not running plumbing right down the guts of it. Even cable tie these away to make it look nice and neat. Um, space in the toilet area. So this towel rail at the moment, when it's pushed to the front, it's gonna be a heap more room with that toilet roll holder to the side. But as far as space, it's actually quite an amply uh, large ensuite for a van that is 17 foot six. So normally a 17 foot six van wouldn't have a washing machine. If it did, it's gonna have one of those dicky uh, wall mounted one that's, you know, 1.5 kilo or something like that. We give you a proper three and a half kilo washing machine. Very easily removable for serviceability or anything that you might need to get to it. Um, very, very well equipped units. The Porthos within the Musketeer range is a fantastic unit. Um, we're gonna walk into the living area here because we still got a few goodies. Just above us, we've got an Ibis 4 True Inverter Reverse Cycle Air Conditioner. This here is gonna work off of a lithium system. It's gonna work off of the current system we're running in the van. It might not work for hours upon hours upon hours, but it is gonna work for three to four with sun beaming, having that power come in, especially amps in versus amps out. The um, lithium system with the uh, inverter is gonna run it. Uh, no issue, we run it here in the dealership for presentation. Um, coffee machine, all those sorts of things. It's gonna be very easy to use with that inverter system. But these air conditioners are the best and the newest on the market. Bedroom. There's still a heat to be able to show you. We've got two black Sirocco fans. The Sirocco fans are standard within the Musketeer range, but the black sort of just shows it off a little bit and highlights some of those key features in the van. We run a Dometic HV um, aerial uh, in the caravan with a wind up point just above our little cameraman's head just there. Um, we have a 24 inch TV DVD combo from NCE. So this is gonna be able to watch DVDs, it's gonna be able to plug USBs in, play off media formats like that. Um, and of course it's gonna pick up reception and, um, and work uh, with uh, free camp scenarios, especially with that satellite system if you're so inclined. Um, storage, before we jump to this little guy above me, we have a massive robe storage point with hanging all the way back right to the front of that caravan. We have vinyl uh, padded fronts. We have overhead cupboard that's almost an arm's worth of depth right from the front to the back. So clothes, um, adjustable shelves, all those things are possible. Just gives you a heap more storage. We also have a pull out drawer. And then in this little panel here, this is this little area here, which is a pigeonhole area that allows for your USBs and double power points for mum and dad. But just above mum and dad's head, we've got a 12 volt reading light, again with USBs. So you can be sitting in bed, you're still playing with the iPhone, playing with the iPad, pop him down, put him in your pigeonhole to sleep. Um, keeps everything separate, keeps everything nice. Alarm clock, books, whatever it may be. This is a six foot two by five foot bed. Um, so it's a true caravan queen. Um, we've got a little bedspread on here at the moment, but there's a heap of storage underneath here. And I'll tell you the other cool part about it before we get to it. Underneath little, this little part just here, we make it nice and neat, but this is an Evario Truma gas heater. So this, thing, uh, this little unit here has a little power switch on the wall. This unit will um, work in any free camp scenarios. So uh, Tasmania, when it gets nice and cold, negative three, negative four, this guy's gonna fire up in the morning. It'll heat up a 17 foot six caravan extremely quickly. They work brilliantly. If I could install one at home, I would. Um, very, very, very good units. 
They've got safety devices on them. If it senses carbon monoxide for anyone who's concerned, it will automatically shut off. If it senses gas leakage, it automatically cuts off. It has extreme safety measures. It goes test, 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 test. If all criteria is tested, it'll fire up, it'll start heating. But these units should be standard, if people are willing to pay, of course, in all of the caravans in my belief. They are a wicked unit. Better than the diesel units because the diesel units you have to have a separate fuel source you're going to have that fuel pump ticking along yes they're more expensive but they're so easy there's no servicing yes we're on thank you very much nice and warm you're absolutely going to love choosing that evario truma heater there's also a magazine pocket under there as well that you can install on the wall of your choosing upon pickup we have again two large double glazed windows in the bedroom area above the uh, bed we have a block out and we also have a, a screen all the way through. Um, we also have a lift up gas strut assist uh, roof handles with LED strip lighting, smoke detector, internal speakers, Bluetooth compatible, of course. Um, on the wall there, we've got our Evario heater controller. So very easy to use. We've actually got a uh, tutorial on this guy in case you get stuck after the handover. Now the really cool thing, the newest tech within the caravan industry, dust. Everyone hates dust in the caravan industry. This little guy above me, I um, mean you can see in the photo section, we're going to show you this little guy. It's a dust, Dometic dust hatch with filtration system. So this guy here is supposed to keep at 98.8% of dust or something crazy like that. As you're driving, it's consistently on. It sucks all of the dust that would have been in the caravan. It keeps it behind that filter, but it pushes all of the air through all of the vents in the caravan, like the fridge vent, like the door vent, like the vent up here for carbon monoxide. All of those, as you're traveling, it's going to pressurize the system, keep all of the dust out. It's gonna make sure that when you rock up, when you pull up to your caravan, you're not having to spend time cleaning. The dust pressure vents that they used to use back when the Vikings were around, push the vents up, pressurize the van, easy done. These things here, waterproof, so you're always on. As you're driving, it's sucking everything in. They've done tests with cars on these, and even the car manufacturers were surprised about the amount of dust that actually kept out of the units. Very easy to service. This just pulls down. It's got a system just here. It pulls out. You've got your filter in there that you can replace from Dometic, but they reckon every 12 months or so, a collection point for all those um, creepy crawlies that might happen to get through the filtration system. Um, there's also a, another system with it as well that allows you to actually um, keep uh, this open and keeps uh, the, a bit of airflow into the caravan if it's a bit windy or a little bit warmer. But we show you that during handover and then it's a magnet clip just back up. Incredibly well engineered. Dometic brings some substantially brilliant products to the market. This is one of them. I wouldn't be building an off-road van without one of these units. Last but not least, we're gonna show you the battery system. So if you're gonna free camp, this little guy here is our PM300 battery management system. The PM300 battery management system has all the water, all the power. It shows you how many minutes are left. It shows you amps from the sun. It shows you amps from the batteries. It shows you amps coming out. It shows you amps coming in. This thing here is a brilliant weaponized unit. You don't need to spend $17,000 or $10,000 on a battery management system. Projector has spent the time, the money. Because Crusader buy in bulk, they get an incredibly brilliant buy price on these units. But these unit here is fully lithium compatible. It's gonna show you that we have 300 amps currently in the battery system. Amps coming in, degrees outside, time, power, lights, the whole lot. This little guy here is the wireless lighting system. So this here just fires a trigger switch to all those external and internal lights. And then it's a very, very easy to use unit. Last but not least, we'll meet you outside and we'll show you one more little factor that we haven't quite gone Caravans through. construct their caravans is a little bit different. So I'll run you through the reason why Crusader Caravans won the manufacturer of the year 2019 and 20. Most caravans from the 1930s right up to the, still to 2020 are constructed with a 12 mil floor, plywood, Maranti construct roof with various joints, even a fiberglass skin sometimes if you're lucky, and then a Maranti construct wall. The way Crusader has revolutionized the industry is they use a fully insulated European customized um, composite foam core insulator panel. This is the uh, floor and also our roof. So the floor is a little bit thicker. It's a 42 mil composite floor, um, fully insulated flooring. So this is a membrane fiberglass protection on the top and fiberglass protection on the bottom. Lino sits on top. This is then screwed to the floor um, via uh, a screwing method and then a polyurethane adhesive underneath to stick it to the chassis. The walls are then mounted to the side of the uh, caravan floor and it is not mounted to a Z channel like most manufacturers do on the side of the chassis. By mounting the floor to the top of the chassis and then the walls to the side of the floor, 
it allows for the caravan to move as one unit. It doesn't allow for that instability and flex through the whole problem. You don't end up with ply cracks or split silicon. That allows for the whole unit to move, just like a house on a slab. The roof is this exact panel. It's 32 mil fully insulated composite panel. We etch grooves to be able to run our wires through for our LED lighting above us but it also allows for a hail proof system. It's fully insulated, so it keeps you cooler in summer and warmer in winter. It means heat wise, it's not going to allow for that perforation of heat. It also is completely waterproof, not an ounce of water. You're never gonna have a rotted roof. You're never gonna have ply damage to change. Nothing like that with the Crusader range. 90% of caravans in the caravan industry at some point in time, due to a lack of servicing or just poor workmanship, will have water issues. With the Crusader Caravan, you're not gonna have those concerns because the roof, as I said, is fully insulated composite, completely waterproof, foam core, fire retardant, allows for flexibility, doesn't crack, doesn't split. It can be all flexed around, no issue at all. The latest and greatest technology is with Crusader Caravans and there's no reason why you shouldn't be investing in a product that is going to be able to outlast the products that have those flimsy finger joints in the roof or the 12 mil marine ply with various joints you'll see after six to seven years worth of on-road and off-road travel. This van and the construction method is the product of the future. If you'd like to find out more about our Musketeer Porthos or alternatively, you'd like to buy our Musketeer Porthos, give us a call on 9359 2938 email us at sales at crusadermelbourne.com. Head to our website for more latest and greatest stock at www.crusadercaravansmelbourne.com.au. Alternatively, like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much.